What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Pro Chess League. Now, you may have already seen your favorite chess player playing for an interestingly titled team, or maybe you're just interested in the Pro Chess scene. Hopefully, in either case, you will be getting some answers out of this video and learning a little more about the Pro Chess League. So here's what we're going to be looking into. What exactly is the Pro Chess League? Uh, the format the games are played in, the schedule of the current league, the winnings the players are playing for, and all the notable players that are playing in the Pro Chess League. Alright, well to start it off, as the name suggests, the Pro Chess League is a chess league. Uh, it is a team-based league that is organized by chess.com. And some of the strongest players in the world are playing in this league. It is entirely online and all of the matches are in rapid format. It features 16 teams from all across the world who are battling it out for a $150,000 prize fund. The formats of the games is each team consists of four players who must have a minimum average rating of 2,400. Uh, the team's rosters must have at least six players and a maximum of 10 players. Rosters must also include one junior player, which is born in 2003 or later, and two women. Up to eight players can join a team roster mid-season. And players are not locked into their team until they play at least one game. To have their lineup, it must be declared before each game, the four players that will be playing. The lineups have a total rating cap of 10,200, which means that they can average out at 2550 FIDE rating, classical rating, uh, which was their rating at November 1st, 2022. All players rated 2,700 or higher will be counted just as 2,700. And all players, regardless of their rating, count at a minimum of 2,200 towards the cap. And at least one woman needs to play each week. They play 10 by 2 uh, time controls, 10 minutes, 2 second increments. And each match against the another team, each player will play every player on the other team once. So the first team to score 8.5 points wins the match. Of course, 1 point for a win, half point for a draw, and 0 points for a loss. Uh, in the event of a tie break... In the event of both teams scoring eight points, there will be a tie break, which will be as follows. If there's a tie, the teams play again with the same pairings as the round as round four, swapped with colors, but instead of 10-2 time control, they will play 3-2, uh, which is three minute and two second increment. If the tie persists, they will switch colors and play again. If it's still tied, they will go down to 1 plus 1 and continue switching until the tie is broken. So that's how they will play their matches every single week. And here is the current 2023 schedule. The qualifier week happened February 1st and 2nd, and after that we got into the main weeks of playing, Five weeks, which will conclude March 17th. And today is February 27th, so tomorrow, the 28th, will start week three. And they then we will have playoffs and quarterfinals. So there will be 16 teams that started after the qualifiers. 
After week three, the bottom two teams are eliminated and the top two teams advance to the playoffs. And the remaining teams continue to battle for a playoff spot. After week four, the top three teams advance to the playoffs and the bottom three teams are eliminated. And after that, the remaining teams continue to play week five. And after week five, the top three teams remaining will go to the playoffs and the three other teams will be eliminated. And as you can see, there is a week off between week five and the playoffs, which will be the Arena Royale, March 24th, which is a special tournament featuring all pro chess league teams. And after that, the playoffs will start up with the top eight teams playing in the playoffs for a $150,000 prize fund. Speaking of prize fund, here's the breakdown. So, for the main event, after playoffs, the first place team gets $25,000. And then you can see second through fourth right there. The team eliminated in the quarterfinals gets $7,500 apiece. And the other payouts for the teams eliminated in previous weeks, you could see 5000 4000 2000 The qualifying funds were already paid out. The first place team got to qualify to be in the league. Second got 1000 and two third place prizes were $500. The MVPs of the entire league, not entirely sure how this is calculated, maybe by both, most points during the season, receive an additional bonus, uh, first, second, and third, $5,000, $3,000, and $2,000, respectively. And finally, as I mentioned in the schedule slide, the Arena Royale tournament takes place before the playoffs, and there's an additional prize fund for that, which you can see there. And now we could take a look at all of the teams involved. They are all over the world and have some interesting logos that look like some of the create a team teams that I've made in different video games. Uh, so there they are, 16 teams. And we could take a look at some of the notable players who are playing on these teams. Uh, the current Top 20 players I've noted, uh, obviously Magnus Carlsen, number one in the world, plays for the Chess Bras. Grishik plays for, and MVL, play for Blitz. Fabiano Caruana plays for the St. Louis Archbishops. Hikaru Nakamura plays for the Gotham Knights. Katarina Lahano is the number four ranked woman in the world and plays for Blitz as well. And Jeyu Wenjun plays for the Shanghai Tigers and is the number five ranked woman in the world. This league also features several other members who are over 2,700 classically rated, as well as impressive juniors and other content creators, YouTubers who you may know and love. So hopefully you've learned a little bit about the Pro Chess League and are interested in tuning in and watching. Uh, the 2023 version will be happening weekly from the posting of this video until sometime mid-April. As you saw on the schedule, the finals are still to be announced as to when they are, and hopefully we'll find that out shortly. I will leave links in the description for all the schedule, and how you are able to watch. So tune in. Hopefully you learned a bit. Hopefully you're excited to watch some Pro Chess League. Uh, until next time, take care.